with your puppies? We don't let them, uh, hit. Not in this. Say, yes. Come on, get the puppy. Get the puppy, man. Get the puppy. Go to the <laughs> Do you love me? Are you riding? Say you never ever leave from beside me. Cause I want you and I need you and I'm down for you. Good morning, good morning, good morning, you too. How y'all living this morning? How y'all doing? When y'all get this, it will be Friday. And I know probably everybody out there. At Black Friday sale, y'all be careful out there. Happy Friday, and uh, today is Thanksgiving, but I'm a day behind. But uh, I just wanted to come in this morning and give thanks, give honor to God who is the head of my life. <laughs> who is my life? And I thank you for every trial, tribulation, and everything I've been through so I can get to where I'm at. But, uh, it ain't nothing too big for my God, okay? You guys, I seen Gabriel Union. You know her and Dwayne Wade. I think they had a, a surrogate carry that baby. And that baby looked just like Dwayne. I was like, oh my goodness. Looked just like Dwayne Wade. I said, oh my God. And they got them a little girl. And she's so happy. Kavia. Kavia, I think. James. Wade. She's a beautiful young lady. And he got boys. He got the two boys from the marriage. He got the uh, little boy he had with the on break baby. He posted that baby the other day. Uh, well, it was the baby's fifth birthday. And then he has the little girl he just had. But uh, I think they're going to do an own special on uh, Oprah. So I think that's why he came out and shared pictures of the baby. You can't be doing a special on TV showing how great you are. And you had a baby with someone else. Well, you know, he was out there. He was married when he was messing around with Gabriel Union. So, you know, it is what it is. And, um, like, what's going on right now with Neo and this Monetta Shaw and this girl. They're trying to make it seem like, well, nine times out of ten, they probably was just cohabitating, living together. And he was living his best life. She was living her life. And uh, they got together. And that's how they became the Brady Bunch. But y'all yeah, know my Sonetta Shaw went on there. I was telling everybody that he made her tie her tubes because he didn't want no more kids. And uh, when he got with this next young lady, she got pregnant. But I don't think that baby was playing, you know. Y'all know. Come on now. Y'all, we got to keep it real sometimes. Y'all know sometimes when y'all out there in these streets, okay, not in the YouTube streets, in the real world. Okay, y'all know y'all be out there doing stuff you shouldn't be doing. Okay, so you been a slipped up, got pregnant, or think, oh hey, if I get pregnant, he gonna be with me, he gonna leave her, <laughs> and it never works like that. But uh, it happens. Okay, so ain't none of us uh, better than the next person. <laughs> we all got skeletons in them closets. Okay, but um, uh, it is what it is. Gabriel Union and uh, Dwayne Wade. I think Oprah's gonna do a, a little special. Yeah, just like with Michelle Williams and Chad. Pastor Chad Johnson. Not Ocho Cinco Chad Johnson with the 85 kids. Y'all, I, I follow him on Twitter. He, he's a very nice person. I can tell why the women chase him around. He got that, that personality that make, you know, that everybody cling to. A ladies man that's the word I'm looking for but being a ladies man sometimes is the worst thing in the world okay <laughs> Woo, yeah it ain't no traffic out here and everybody in a hurry that's why I try to leave a little bit early so I can drive the way I want to drive it's an empty freeway I'm doing 62 63 65 go around I don't understand why people get behind you and drive like a maniac and they got the whole road <laughs> But anyway, guys, Oprah has picked up Dwayne Wade family show and also um, Michelle from Destiny Child, Michelle Williams, and Pastor Chad Johnson. And I was watching it. It, it looked like it's good. You know, you just bored on a Saturday. Ain't got nothing to do. Check it out. 
Oh, the reunion for uh, Married to Madison. Oh my God. I had started reviewing it, but a lot of people just went into the show. But Married to Madison is really a good show. So anyway, the reunion gonna start. It's on Saturday nights. The reunion gonna start this Saturday. And uh, they're touching base on uh, Miss Quad. I guess Miss Quad tired of Mariah telling everything about her. So Mariah, uh, Miss Quad is uh, spilling tea, telling about um, what uh, Mariah's allegedly, all this allegedly cocaine usage. And I'm like, ooh. Now when you go that low, and y'all know when you got secrets on somebody, you you hold them secrets till you can't. Or you hold them secrets till somebody piss you off so bad, and you go, I'm not gonna tell this, I'm not gonna tell it. But they be, they had you so mad, you be like, they got one more thing to tell. And I'm gonna tell about the cocaine usage. And I said, oh my God, it's gonna be juicy. Saturday night, Married to Medicine reunion. Get into it, you guys, bravo. Y'all, I guess future baby mama Brittany is tired of all the fuck shit. So she done uh, basically, I guess she done basically left him alone. I don't know. He posted, do you be, you, do you want to cry in a Nissan or do you want to cry in the Phantom? So I guess she crying in her Nissan. It's okay, baby. I cry in mine too. <laughs> Woo! I cry in mine too. Get it how you live, okay? And uh, I've been kind of watching this uh, Takashi 6 9 stuff unfold. Now Takashi is saying he wasn't a gang member. He was only playing that image to sell his, you know, records and stuff. I say, uh-huh, over there in, them, in that jailhouse. And they said that somebody jumped him. I don't know if that's true. But why would you have him out in a regular population? That mean out there with the regular uh, inmates. And you know he's a high profile person. He should be in protective custody, but being in protective custody, Meek Mill said, you just sitting in a, a cell and uh, you don't get out. And when Meek Mill came out, he said he had PTSD because of that. So, you know, that's one thing in life, we have choices. And when you make your bed, you have to lie in it, you guys. You gotta be careful. Yeah, I'm Black China and it's this skin bleach, bleaching cream. When I think of skin bleaching, I think of Frank White here in Las Vegas, a YouTuber who also made a product and he's selling it. And that's his skin lightening cream. <clears throat> I said to each his own. If somebody wanna lighten their skin, hey, do what makes you happy. You know, I don't know if that's gonna make you happy in life or happier. Maybe you'll get more men, more women. I don't know what your thing is. People don't, really, a lot of times they be saying, you know, the darker actors and actresses don't get the roles and don't get the parts like the uh, light, you know, lighter skin. And that's a shame as black people, the racism is, is terrible. The racism is real. I was watching um, The Real Housewives of Atlanta the other day and Miss Eva called out Shemaine for being a dark girl, you know. So I'm like, if you're not happy, when you gotta point out, let me say this, if you gotta point out somebody else's flaws, that's time for you to stop, take a look in the mirror, and get yourself together, okay? It ain't them, it's you. I always say that. When you gotta point out somebody else's flaws in life, it ain't them, it's you, okay? So, colorism, us black women thinking because you lighter, because you darker, darker, because you, your skin is, you know, a little bit brighter. You feel like you're more entitled. It is what it is. I love the color of my skin. I love who I am, you know, and being young, younger, I went through a lot, you know, I when I was in my first marriage, he didn't want me to wear makeup. He didn't want me to get my hair done. He didn't want me to do nothing. He wanted me to sit around and be a plain Jane because he didn't want nobody else to want me, honey. And I woke up and I said, uh-uh, no, this is me. Accept me for who I am uh, next. And when I found myself, because honey, we be lost. 
Yes, we do. When I found myself, you couldn't set me down. Okay? But uh, Jamel Bryant, he was the pastor in uh, Baltimore. He found a church, 20 years, the founder of a church. He is moving to uh, Atlanta to become the senior pastor of uh, New Birth. That's the uh, church where Eddie Long was at. And all the stuff went, you know, on about him messing with the young men, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Well, Jamal Bryant was also married to um, one of the housewives of Potomac, the pretty girl, I think Giselle. And also, they were saying Jamal Bryant was messing with Phaedra from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. I don't know if this is true. So he's moving to Atlanta now. He's moving closer. And he's going to become the senior pastor of a new birth. So it is what it is. But back to Black China, you guys. She's selling this lightning cream for $250 a jar. And she's saying that she's doing it because her children are entitled to live the same life that their fathers are. She has a child by the rapper Tiger and Rob Kardashian. Rob trying to get his child support lower from $20,000 a month down to $2,000 because he's saying he ain't got no money. And the mom is tired of paying for his child. And the mama shouldn't. I'm like Nene Leakes. I'm like Chris uh, Jenner. Those are their children. Why are we putting the responsibility on the grandparent? Yes, I love my grandkids to death and I will die for them, give them whatever they want. But if you have a son, when we gotta say this, and, and it shouldn't be no different from the son or the daughter, and y'all get down in the comments and we need to discuss this. If you have a son and he out there making babies, he got eight, nine, 10 kids, and his ass ain't doing what he's supposed to, supposed to, what he's supposed to, shouldn't you be chasing the grandmama around talking about he didn't get her no diapers, he didn't do this, he didn't do that. <clears throat> There's only so much you can do. That's why I always limit my, limited myself to two children. A boy and a girl. Thank God God gave me a boy and a girl. But there's your limitations. I mean, and you're working. I had a two-parent home. Just imagine having a single-parent home. I stayed married so my children could have the things that I did not have. A father living in a nice home in a nice neighborhood. I did all that because I didn't have it. And I gave my children what I didn't have. So, my question, y'all, get, get down in them comments. Are we obligated to pick up the slack from our children when they don't do right? Boy or girl? Because these little girls out here having babies, 90 going north too. I told my girl, you better slow it down. Close that damn factory. You got your boy, okay? It is what it is. That's enough. <laughs> That's enough, okay? It's hard to give the children everything they want and they need. You want them to be in cheerleading. You want them to be, you know, doing this, doing that, playing football. You want gymnastic. You want to be able to do for your children. You work, 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 work. That's all I've ever done is work to supply and give my children things. I say, you know what, Miss Tiki, it's time for you to live your best life. You've been living your life for other people your entire life. It's time for you to start living for you. And you know what, when I made that decision, and I quit settling and start thinking about me, I have been so happy with myself and I refuse to settle for less. I am not gonna, oh, I can accept that because <laughs> I might not find a man because <laughs> he this, he that, he the other. I'm not looking, number one. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. And I appreciate everything that I have and whoever you send my way, but I'm not looking and I'm not gonna settle. I'm just not gonna do it. I've done it all my life. But uh, you guys, happy Thanksgiving. I hope everybody have a blessed day. If you're out there in them streets, in them streets, y'all be careful with that Black Friday shopping. I'm going to be somewhere laughing and watching everybody fight. I remember them days when I'd be like, oh, I need to get that because I need to get this computer for the kids. And, oh, I need to get that because I need to get that. Now I'm just laying back laughing and watching. I'm living my best life. Thank God. And just thankful. What are you thankful for? I'm, I'm thankful for my health and my strength. With that, I can do all things through Christ. Y'all have a blessed day. Thanks for sliding through. Hit that like button. Like, 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 like. Follow me over there. IGTK44. And everybody have a blessed day. And don't let the devil steal your joy. 
I was at work yesterday and it was just so much confusion going on and I'm like Jesus Lord why and I'm just standing back and I'm watching and I just sit back and I watch the people that be, say they're the friends of each other and they just fight and bicker and talk about each other and I just say Lord I come in here I do my job this is my workplace these are my work these are my employees I work with associates I have a relationship with you guys because I work with you I respect you but after I clock out and leave that job I leave that stuff there I won't take it home with me that's too much drama too much mess y'all I could write a book on being a cocktail waitress man a reality show it is unreal some of the stuff I see that go down <laughs> but y'all have a blessed day bye guys Wow. Oh, so how do you got to drop it at work on some concrete? Oh, that's a big screen.